My friend Burl Sloan is an artist. His drawing table gets full quickly. So Burl asked me to build him a bigger top for his table. My suggestion was to use plywood with a hardwood veneer, but Burl wanted to use hardwood boards. He shopped for some birch and brought it to me. I had him line them up according to which side he wanted up and how well the edges joined together. When we had it like he wanted it, I marked one end with an arrow showing which end was the left bottom and began the process of gluing them up. I built this glue up station in 2016. There's a playlist dealing with the process on the Wood Tools Workshop channel. It's named appropriately, Build a Glue Up Station. It takes a deal of doing to screw the heads down, so the trick with the glue up station is to move the sliding bar until the distance between it and the heads is within one and a half inches of the size of your stock. One and a half inches is the spacing of the holes for the quick release pins that hold the sliding bar in place. There was some preparatory work that isn't shown here. A couple of the boards had a slight crook on one edge and had to be run across the jointer to straighten them out so that they fit flush with the other boards. After the clamp heads are screwed down, the next step is to check for any areas where the edges aren't lined up and tap those into place with a mallet. That's followed by cleaning off the excess glue that's squeezed out. And some clamps to keep the edges together. Even with all the care that goes into it, there's usually some smoothing to be done along the mated edges after glue up. Burl's drawing table was bigger than the glue up station, so I did it in two sections and then joined the sections together with longer pipe clamps. Wax paper underneath to keep the glue off my workbench. On the workbench, I had room to use clamps on the mated edges that had a bigger bite, but I only left them on long enough for the glue to begin to set. I didn't want to risk gluing the clamps to the tabletop.
I had left an inch extra on each side and now it was time to trim it. Burl wanted to help with this, but I had to ask him not to. Our braces under the table would be the same design as the originals except longer. Each brace had six holes for sunken screws plus holes to mount it to the frame and to attach the locking hinge. Each brace was three inches wide in the middle, tapering down to one and a quarter at the ends. I used a taper cutting jig that I built previously. There is a playlist of three videos dealing with the building process for that jig on the Wood Tools Workshop channel. It's appropriately named Build a Taper Jig for Table Saw. For the sunken screw holes, I drilled down to three quarters of an inch from the bottom with a half inch bit, then drilled on through with a quarter inch bit. This would allow the screw to fit down into the larger hole with its shank through the smaller hole. The way I went about this was to mark the location of the holes on one side of one brace. I used those marks to align the drill bit and then placed a stop block at the end of the brace. I could then use the stop to drill the other three matching holes before repositioning for the next set of holes. I used the depth stop built onto the drill press and drilled all the half inch holes first, marking the spot where the stop block was. After they were all drilled, I replaced the bit with a smaller one and did the same thing again with the stop block. Now with all the half inch holes drilled down to three quarters of an inch from the base, I switch to the quarter inch bit and drill all the way through. Since the shortest holes are the last ones I did, the stop block is already in position for them, so I start there for the next set of holes. Each brace has three holes on each side. Six holes times two braces, 12 holes, times two bits equals 24 holes I drilled. I'll make a deal with you. If you'll take my word for it that I drilled 24 holes, I won't ask you to watch them all. Deal? Deal. Oh yeah, there are still a couple for mounting to the frame. After we attached the braces, Burl took the tabletop home, stained it, and attached it to the frame. I asked him to send me some videos of it, which you're seeing now. And I went over to get a shot of it in use.
the end of this wire off. I mean, I'm gonna clean the end of this wire. Then I'm gonna solder back on here. It got a, it was working the other day, and you so, saw. So I don't know what you want to do. So let me just go ahead and do that. Sure. Okay. Yeah, all I'm doing is showing the the finished desk in in use. I have a before shot of the old desk and it looks really cluttered and I came over here thinking this one was going to be all cleaned we up and clean it you'd up. have it like a canvas pinned to it or something like that. We can clean it up. No, 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 no. This is good. This is how you use it.